Hello, I'm Nikki and this is David and we're from Manchester Yoga Central and we're going to be teaching you today a yoga and sound um, session. We're going to be bringing in some different instruments um, and this yoga and sound session is going to be really great to connect back to our essence, back to our bodies, back to ourself and also to help us to go into deeper states of relaxation. So we're going to begin using the shamanic drum and I'm going to talk through a chakra meditation. So we're going to use the drum to kind of activate these different areas. So I want you to connect to this deep body listening where we hear the drum from these energy centers. So starting off in a seated position, one that feels comfortable for you, and we can place the hands onto the knees, close down the eyes, and with the next exhale, allow your shoulders to soften into gravity. Feeling the hip bones rooted into the earth. Allowing the crown to lift, to feel and activate the spine. And starting off really connecting with the lower chakras. Acknowledging the weight of the pelvis. Starting to feel the navel rising and falling with the breath. Connecting to that sacral chakra. Connect to this area to connect to the body. The physical body of physical reality. And as we go a little higher, just connecting to the solar plexus, being our center of power. Now as you breathe, feel this energy center in the solar plexus. And this body listening with the drum. Coming a little higher to the heart center. So we gently open the chest and notice the breath as it moves towards the heart. Connecting to the center of our joy, our love, our passion. And are listening now from the throat, from the throat chakra, the center of our free communication, communicating our truth. And are listening from the third eye center, the center of our intuition, our clarity, our intellect. Coming a little higher to the crown chakra as we relax in the face and we visualize a white light above the head. Allow the drum to connect you to the top of the head. And then bring in your right hand onto your chest and your left hand onto your belly, start to feel the breath in these two energy centers. As we breathe, feel the hands rising and falling. And to connect the breath, feel the inhale move from the right hand to the left hand on the inhale. And on the exhale, feel the breath moving back up to the left hand. Inhaling right hand to left hand. Exhale left hand to right hand. Tuning in with that breath pattern. Be 
bring in both hands onto the knees, open the palms and slightly lift the chest. Allow the breath to deepen. Slow inhalation, slow exhalation. As we tune into the rhythm of our breath and tune into the rhythm of the drum. We can visualize the inhale moving down the body to the base, to the root, and the exhale moving from the root and back up towards the crown. Breathing into any energy from this pathway that might feel a little stuck or a little blocked, really sending this intention down and up. Good. Start to mirror this movement a little as we inhale. Open the chest and feel the front body open. And exhale, open the back body. Inhale, open through the chest and the front body. Exhale as we open through the back body. Beautiful. We're going to inhale and just open those arms out, really reaching out with the fingertips. And then as we exhale, let's cross the right arm over the left, like an eagle arms. And we can have the hands touching, or if they don't, don't worry, just cross in with the elbows. And we'll just breathe and move here. We'll take the hands up towards the sky on the inhale, and on the exhale, we'll lower the hands to the earth. Inhale, reaching the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower the hands down to the earth. Inhale up to the sky, exhale down to the earth, hold the hands here, as we relax with the head and neck. We're going to inhale, roll towards the right shoulder, that little quarter turn, and exhale back to the centre, and inhale, roll to the left shoulder, exhale back to the centre. As we breathe in, open those arms out. On the inhale, on the exhale, cross the left arm over the right in eagle arms and bring the hands up. Breathe in here, breathe out, guide the hands towards the ground. Inhale and lift. Exhale to lower. Just really moving into anything that feels stuck or tense in our shoulders, releasing the weight that we hold in life. As we move into it, using that out breath to go a little deeper. Take the hands to the ground, chin down towards the chest. As we inhale, rolling towards the right shoulder and exhale back to the center. And inhale to the left and exhale back to the center. Let's breathe in, release those arms out on the inhale. On the exhale, just take the hands behind you, have the fingertips facing forwards and bending the elbows slightly, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other. We're gonna breathe in and lift with that chest. And then as we exhale, the chin into the chest. Navel back to the spine, inhale and open. Deep, full breath and exhale, fully empty that breath. Inhale one last time. Exhale to relax. And we'll come to an all fours position. And let's just start to take some circles from here. The knees are in line with the hips and the hands are in line with the shoulders. You can close your eyes if you want to, just listening to the sound of the guitar. And as we take these circles, we're just moving into any tension in the ball and socket joints of the hips, in the shoulders and the hips. And then take the circles in the opposite direction. Come to a still place from here. And we'll breathe in, opening the chest for cat cow, inhaling and exhaling into the cat pose. See if we can lift up with the pelvic floor at the end of that exhale, really feeling your center. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, lift with that pelvic floor round the spine. Inhale here, we'll turn the fingertips outwards, just a quarter turn, continue with that movement, stretching into the wrists, exhale. 
Inhale, let's turn a quarter turn so the fingertips come in towards you. Open the chest. Exhale, take that cat shape. Inhale. Exhale. From here, keep the heels of the hands down as long as you can, but slowly sit back into the heels. So you're stretching into the hands and the fingers, and then it's just open and close. Almost like we're, we're releasing and flicking energy out through the fingers, and we'll just reach the arms up, energizing the whole hands, the whole arms. And go down the other way. Just really stretch those fingers out, opening that chest and kind of reaching backs of the palms behind you. Good, we're gonna exhale, take the palms together round the upper back. Inhale, turn the palms out as we clasp the hands together. Breathe in, reach the clasped hands to the floor, lift the chest towards the ceiling. And let's breathe out as we come to a child's pose, forehead to the ground. Start to slowly bring the arms over the head. Good, as we inhale, roll up through the spine, lifting the chest high, reaching the clasped hands low. And exhale once more, go back into that child's pose, bringing the arms over the head. Just finding that point of resistance. Spend a few breaths here, really exhaling and meeting with the edge through the shoulders. Inhale, slowly rolling up through the spine. And then I want you to exhale, keeping the hands clasped. We're going to hinge a little way back so you can feel the thighs engaged, the glutes engaged. And then start to lift the chest, sending the clasped hands towards the ground, but keeping that stable base. Inhale, exhale. This time bring the arms forwards and toes toward, big toes towards each other, sitting back into a child's pose. Stretch the arms forwards, feel that lovely long length. Beautiful, as we bring the hands back slightly, we're gonna lift up with your left arm to the sky, inhale and exhale. Float your left arm underneath, taking the left hand side of the face into your mat. Come onto the fingertips with this right arm and just feel this lovely twist. Breathing into it. Allowing a sense of surrender with that left shoulder, with the weight of the head. Good, place the right hand flat down. Inhale, reach up, twisting around and exhale. Switching the arms to the opposite side as we lift up with that right arm, breathing in, breathing out, swooping underneath. Right hand side of the face into the mat. Relax that underneath shoulder, come onto the tips of the fingers of that left arm, gently twist around, breathing into it. Inhale, exhale. From here, come back to that all fours position. As we breathe in, open the chest and look ahead. And then as we exhale, tuck the toes under, lifting the hips up into the air, downward facing dog. Let's keep the knees a little bent. And just spend a couple of breaths on the exhale. We're gonna lift those hips higher, pressing the back of each knuckle into the ground and rotate the armpits towards each other to find lots of space in the upper back. Soften the knees a little more so we feel the chest towards the thighs, lifting the hips higher. We're going to breathe in now, hover the knees off the ground as we open the chest. Breathe out deeper into our downward facing dog. Inhale, hover the knees off the mat, look ahead. Exhale, downward facing dog. So finding a little bit of fluidity through the spine. This opening of the front body on the inhale, the opening of the back body on the exhale. Good. 
We're going to inhale, look forward, so let's step our right foot through. Exhale, back knee to the ground. As we inhale, we're going to raise up with the arms and let's open really wide and then exhale. Let's take the eagle arms once more. So cross the right arm over the left. Breathe in as we lift those hands up to the sky and exhale, we're going to lower towards the ground to the inside of that right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more time, but this time exhale, hold up into the sky with the hands and inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, as we lower the arms down to the ground, Let's see if we can take the forearms down. Good, breathe in, release the arms, exhale. Inhale, open the chest and exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, lifting the hips up into the air. Soften the knees, look ahead, breathe in, left foot steps forwards. Exhale, back knee down. Inhale as we reach up, open with the arms. Exhale, taking the left elbow over the right. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time, hold and lift the arms a little higher. Really feel that back bend. Feel stability in the front leg. Exhale, come down a little lower. Good, hold it there. Feeling that deep stretch on the hips, on the inner thighs. Inhale as we open. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot and inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, lift with the hips. From here, let the knees rest down into the ground. And we're going to come to sit in an upright position. And just taking a few really relaxed postures. We'll take the soles of the feet together. Bring the feet a little further forward so your legs are in like a diamond shape in this yin pose. And let's just hang forwards. So just let the weight of the head create this sensation as you drop the head down. The upper back can round. And we're going to hold for a few minutes here. So just allow the weight of the upper body to do this stretch for you. And this is a really good posture to open out the hips. And we're also working on the kidney channel on the inner thighs. We're opening the space in the kidneys, in the back body. So we can even visualize that on the inhale, we're sending that breath into the kidney area in the lower back. Good, hold in here for another half a minute. And slowly come back up from here. We're going to take a pressure point that's really good for deep relaxation and it's called kidney one and this pressure point is in the soles of the feet so to find it we're going to think about the soles of the feet and the ball of the big toe and as we work around the ball of the big toe it's in the space in between the first and second toes so take your thumb so it's kind of here in between the darker skin and the lighter skin and we're going to press in with our thumbs and we can actually hold the both the kidney one on both feet as you press this pressure point we can go into a little stretch again which does affect the whole kidney meridian and this time let's see if we can get a bit more length in the lower back this is a point that's really connected to your yin So 
So as we hold this pressure point, just feeling really grounded, connecting to your own inner essence. It's quite good to close down the eyes just to feel our own energy aside from anyone else's. Good, and coming back up from here, we're going to take the legs out wide just to a space that feels comfortable for you as we flex the feet. And as we take the hands on the hips, just see if we can angle the hip bones down to the ground here. Good, and if it feels comfortable for you, take the fingertips onto the ground. Just really feel the seat bones rooted down. And send the chest or the heart centre forwards. Walk the hands to until you feel enough sensation. And then we're going to close the eyes and hold there for a few minutes. And we're holding this posture in a yin way. So it's about not really engaging the muscles, just allowing everything to soften. So we can go deeper into the joints, into the connective tissues and the And then as you take your long natural exhales, you may want to go a little bit deeper. And see if we can keep our awareness onto our breathing, just to really keep that focus. So we can feel the breath and we can feel the sensation of the posture. And if the mind takes us off somewhere else, just patiently come back to the breath. From here, we're gonna walk the hands over to the left. So just find a still place here as we press that right hip into the ground. Again, closing down the eyes and lengthening the heart center forwards towards that left foot. And then walking the hands over towards the right as we lengthen the heart center forwards and root that left hip into the earth, closing down your eyes. There's no right or wrong way to do this pose. I want you to just tune into the sensation that you're feeling. And as you slowly exhale and go deeper into the sensations in the body, we're able to start to breathe out some of that deeper held tension that maybe we didn't know was there. And you're dancing with the edge of sensation, not too much, not too little, and using your breath as a guide. Good, as we slowly come back up, we're gonna take a hip stretch here, Gomakasana. So we're gonna take that left leg in and just step your right leg over. So from here, we can either stay like this or we just bring the knees on top of each other and start to rest forwards. We're not gonna hold too long, just feeling the edge for a moment or so. And the head rest. Good, slowly come back up. We're going to change the leg, so bend in with your right leg. Step over with your left leg. So we either can stay on the sole of the foot or we can go a little deeper. And as we lean forwards, just dancing with the edge of that sensation. And taking a few long exhales. and slowly come back up from here and we're going to come to lie down in shavasana so laying onto your back so as we lay down allow the feet to rest out to the sides turn your palms up to the sky and just notice the parts of the body where there's contact with the ground and allow yourself to surrender into this contact 
As we go into a relaxation now with the flute. And just working on this body listening. So we listen to the sound with the whole body. to come back to the whole body as you lay here on the mat. I'm going to start to move into the fingers, into the toes and taking your knees into your chest. Allow the knees to fall out to the right hand side and coming back up to a seated position. So we either let the hands rest onto the knees or we'll bring our palms together at our heart centre. Just take a nice breath in as we connect to the centre of the heart. And when you feel it's time, open the eyes, taking in the light again of the room that you're in. And just giving yourself some feelings of gratitude for your practice today. Thanking yourself for showing up, for making the effort today. And then carrying this vibration with you to the rest of your day. And on behalf of myself and David at Manchester Yoga Central, we want to thank you for sharing this practice with us.